Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here with another video. Today we're going in the third part of this series on this Fukue dash cam. I'm going to show you the phone app. I think the app is really neat. I'm going to go ahead and get into it show you how to connect to the dash cam, how to download footage, and a little bit about what's going on inside the application itself. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to turn the dash cam on. Let me get out of the menu here. So now we have our dash cam on and the first thing we need to do is turn on the Wi-Fi signal little thing here and you see if I press this button here and wait a moment that should turn green and the Wi-Fi is on. This is the app right here. It says Wit Cam. Okay. And it comes up and it says connect device. And the Fukue. You see it says connect in there. So let me get out of here. Come back to the device. And now they're connected. And if you kind of notice we what I see on my phone and there on the uh, screen on the dash cam now Everything's connected, shows what's here. Uh, what we have here, we have right in the middle. I'm gonna drill down just a little bit so I'm not shaking the phone down. And maybe that'll help the, the resolution of the camera also. First we have this button here to switch the camera around. So now we're looking at that camera. Okay, in case you want to record a selfie or something. We have 1080p over here. I haven't pressed all these. We got the full screen here, and that just turns it that way. I aim it out that way. So now we, on the full screen, turn that back down. And it's going to ask you this question sometimes. Does the Wi-Fi network, da, da, da. no, there's no not Wi-Fi network, decline. Um, this is switch between if you want to record I'm sorry guys hopefully y'all see this this button right here if whether you want camera or if you want a video recording or you want to take a picture okay so right now it's in video because that's there if you press it it goes to camera if you press it it takes a picture and over here we click on it and this will bring up our video files in the camera. If we have video files, see, make sure everything's in screen here. I'm going to back out just a little bit more. This is the video files. If there's any photos, you click on that folder. If I had a, taken a picture or you taken a picture while you were driving, any of those pictures you took while driving um, would be there. And this is any emergency stuff. So if someone had hit your car, you remember I mentioned that, or you got in an accident and the camera, the dash cam did what it was supposed to do, it would put those files in this folder. There's a bunch of files in here, which I'm going to delete because there's no emergency. So there's no reason for me to have it because I've been playing around with this thing. So if we go back to a video file, let's go back here and I am going to show you how this works. I'm going to click on this file right here. Let's see what this file is. And now we have our <laughs> And you see that the camera, the dash cam, because it's been banging around on the table, is going, the g is like, hey, there's, there's something happening here, and it's recording stuff. <laughs> So let me try to find something. I'm going to click on this file here. And let 
Let me turn that down. That's Jay Moss. Jay Moss in the house. And as I mentioned, you can turn the audio on or off. In my previous video, I show how that works. Now, if I say I want to share this video, first thing it's doing, it is downloading that file. 19, 20, 20. I don't know how long that video. Oh, it's a one minute file, I think. Okay. I got the file downloaded. Here's a neat feature. Now, if I click on the clip right here, it will bring that file up. And, and I have two little bars here. And I can go through this file and say, I find the portion of the accident that I want. I just, if you just want that segment. It's not clipping it from your dash clamp. It's clicking, it's clipping the file in your phone. So I find the segment that I want. Let's say it's right here in the middle. And I hit play. It's going to play that segment first. So say, okay, this is the segment that you want. This is where it happened. And as it's doing that, I can make it shorter, okay? See, I wanted to make, I'm going to try to make this real short, okay? That's the segment. Now I can have this original sound of what was going on and say this is something fun that you want to share. Or I can come down here and turn my volume on my phone back up. And I can pick... <laughs> I can pick one of these built in soft rock. You can tell it came from China, right? Sax. Let's say that's the one I want. Now, if I hit clip the video, it says please wait and save that video. I have it saved to my phone. Now you can go back into your phone files and pull that video up and it's there. So I'm going to stop all this noise. Okay. So that's a neat feature that I thought was very neat uh, in here that you could do with a video clip. My bag going back out here. And hopefully that's a decent overview. We have some settings. I haven't been in here. There's a bunch of settings in here that you can do. Uh, also, these settings that you can do in here, because if you notice, there, there are some settings in here that you can change in the dash cam, like the loop recording, how long you want it to be, um, the audio on off the G sensor. You can change that, the parking monitor. You can connect your phone to the device and change those or you can change them in the device but basically guys that's it that is the app for the Fuku way weird name dash cam look I hope you guys enjoyed that if you like the video please hit that like button over there um, if you like my channel please hit that subscribe button look you guys have a blessed day